Captured the destroy. Hello everybody, this is Deathbringer and we are back with the Thousand Plus Short. This is episode number 30. 30 guns now, 30 guns down, 3 guns remaining. Um, let's do this guys. So then, we are using the model 1887 shotgun, a, a much long awaited um, you know, gun in the series. I had many many comments on past episodes asking for this weapon and I basically had to leave this till last um so i've got this 21 kill gameplay as you can tell by the title with only three deaths on village and village is a very unusual unusual map to be doing well on with the shotgun but you know i somehow pulled this off and the reason this is like one of the last episodes in the series is the fact that i had a lot of trouble gaining the thousand plus with this gun as a matter of fact, this is one of the last remaining guns I did actually have to get the 1000 plus with. It was pretty difficult and, you know, I'm going to explain the um, disadvantages behind this weapon and the advantages which kind of led to me um, basically doing this gun again. I was trying for this weapon a long, long time and they were so happy that I pulled in the 20 kills with this shotgun. Another shotgun um, at 20 kills and... So, so really, really happy about getting that. The last time I did 20 kills with a shotgun was the striker in this series, and I just thought, you know, a really nice way to get towards the end of this um, Falls Bush show with a, with a 20 kills with a model. I mean, I haven't seen anyone post um, over 20 kills with a model in Search and Destroy, and I just find it crazy that I actually uh, managed to do this, especially in a long range map like this where you can be snipered and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's get into this weapon then. The model 1887 is is kind of a crazy weapon. It's got massive disadvantages, but it's got massive advantages over the other shotguns. It's kind of balanced itself out really, um, really well compared to the old version of this weapon in Modern Warfare 2 where it was clearly overpowered and you could have a Kimbo's. Um, which made it ridiculously powerful and um, a lot of people complained about that weapon and I personally do remember that gun in Modern Warfare 2, the models, um, as a secondary weapon. I remember everyone used to complain about it, I used to complain about it, just the dual Kimbo's used to get shot from miles away and it used to kill you really, really quickly. Well, there's massive, like, you know, they've put massive, um like things on this weapon to kind of down that sort of power so to speak but yeah it's still got the power it's kind of weird to say that so right first off you're going to notice about this weapon it's a lever action a lever action shotgun basically means shoots the um you know shells and then cocks the weapon puts another one in cocks it back up and then you're ready to go again and you know you've got quite a bit of base ammo in the weapon so you're not going to run out anytime soon, but that gives you a really slow rate of fire. And this is kind of where the problem came in with this weapon, trying to achieve the thousand points with it. Um, and it's kind of why it took me so long to actually get the thousand plus. The fact that I shot someone right at close range, because sometimes as well, even though it is one of the most powerful shotguns in Modern Warfare 2, the second most powerful, and also it's got the best range for this weapon, um, even though it's got all them um, sort of advantages, this, this is where the advantages come in, it's got them advantages, you know, it's got the power, it's got the range, um, but the, the rate of fire kind of kills it a bit, so to speak, and this is why you don't see a lot of people using it, um, in search and destroy because this can this can basically do you in um, basically you get an hit marker right you go to reload and this is the problem I had you go to reload can't get a second shot out fast enough I'm dead and this really troubled me you think why are you getting hit markers at close range and I don't know I think that, I think in this gameplay I was using damage and you know I've got the red tiger and I think damage really improves this weapon um, to and this is kind of why I pulled in the 20 plus kills, uh, you know, on Village. The fact that I had damage on it, and it took me a long, long time to get it up to this level where I had damage, but it's kind of the, um, you know, the achievement that you get out of it, the gratitude, the, um, you know, the feeling, the sense of feeling that you get that is so great when you level this guns all the way to the top and you feel the power, you know, and this is what you achieve, you know, this is what you've got to work for. 
it's kind of clear that the developers made this this you know gun that you needed to work for it this time around in um, MW3 and you needed to um, unlock these attachments and proficiencies and stuff like that to make it a really good weapon um, yeah so Model 1887 there's not much more I can say about it I've explained a lot of what this weapons about um, you know obviously it's a shotgun obviously fantastic for rushing really good on um, short range maps very unusual to be getting a high killing game play like this on village of all the of all the games you know I think village has been the most popular map in the series I don't know what it is I, I, I seem to know the roots really good and I seem to be able to get them air strikes down, preds down, you know, it's open top map and no one can hide from Deathbringer with a shotgun <laughs> or whatever the gun it is, you know. Alright, and so it's coming up to the last kill now and I was very happy to actually get the last kill. That's the 20th kill and I do get another kill, 21 kills in all. Um, yeah, three deaths, that is all. Really good KD um, to finish this gameplay off. And I hope it's been one of the more entertaining episodes of the series towards the end. Alright then, thanks for watching, I look forward to bringing you the next episode, and that is going to be the Dragonov Sniper Rifle. My voice is going, <laughs> as you might be able to tell, but um, yeah, once again, thank you. I'll see you later guys, bye.